Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see the historical development of electrophoresis. The concept of using electric fields to separate the charged particles date back to the early 19th century. However, the development of modern electrophoresis techniques occurred primarily in the 20th century. In 1807, Sir Humphrey Davy and Thomas Robert Malthus used the electricity to separate alkali metals from their salts. In 1831, Michael Faraday introduced the term electrophoresis to describe the movement of particles in a fluid under the influence of an electric field. The first observation of electrophoresis was made by German-Russian scientist Ferdinand Friedrich Ries from Moscow State University in 1879. He noticed that when an electric field was applied to water mixed with clay particles, the particles moved towards the electrode. This phenomenon hinted at the broader principle of electrophoresis but was not applied to the biomolecules. In 1909, Swedish chemist and Tyselius is often credited with developing the first true electrophoresis technique. He used electrophoresis to study the movement of protein in an electric field, a method he called moving boundary electrophoresis. Tyselius' work in the 1930s laid the foundation for the systematic study of proteins, earning him the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in the year 1948. In 1940s, Richard Durham introduced zone electrophoresis where the sample is placed in a porous medium like paper or gel to prevent diffusion. In 1955, Oliver Smithis introduced acrose gel and polyacrylamyl gels as a substrate for the separation of biomolecules. Oliver Smithis developed starch gel electrophoresis a technique that improved protein separation by using starch as the medium. In 1960s, polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis or PAGE became popular for protein separation due to its versatility and high resolution. In 1970s, southern blotting, a technique combining electrophoresis and hybridization, revolutionized the DNA analysis. In 1980s, Capillary electrophoresis emerged as a high efficiency technique with applications in various fields. In 1981, electrophoresis of amino acid was carried out by these two scientists, J.W. Jorgensen and D.K. Lucas. In 1990, Matrix developed for the DNA separation at high resolution by B. L. Kager and his group. After 2000, many high resolution electrophoresis methods have been developed for both analytical and preparative measures. Dear viewers, that's all about the history of electrophoresis. Thank you for your support. Thank you.